So welcome to the Strathdale quadruple feature where today I'll hopefully be doing four of the best ascending trails around here on Strathdale. So we'll start things off with an oldie but a goodie. We're doing power pole there to warm up. Just to show that after a touch of rain that we had this morning, the surface groups up really quite well. Plus I'm hitting all the jumps to show them off at least. So a lot of these jumps are mainly to flat. So make sure you got your suspension unlocked like I have. And making sure we don't ping a wheel off that little rocky outcrop. As we come screaming into the tree line, hop this, hit the berm around that tree. We also finally have the Aga fully built. So it has a Pirelli 29 by 2.6 MR front and back. And it's also got the tubeless valves in them. Hop. Ah, offline for that left jump, but don't mind. Bike's feeling fantastic. And I've got the shock wheels on the back to finally get the shock going properly as we get ready to get this jump in the mill. Oh, feels pretty good. Skim that. So this is the power pole dancer. The next one will be Wubba Lubba Dub Dub. Descent number two. This is Wubba Lubba Dub Dub. A bit more technical and tight than the power pole dancer. This has few neat features that I need to train up on including this rock roll near the beginning so it's coming up on the left here so it's a bit nasty Whoop. so it is rollable or droppable just be aware that with a few sharp edges and a few dips in it it may catch a tire if you're going too slow as we round this hairpin we'll start getting into a few consecutive jumps along this back area here. So again, another jump to flat. Another jump to flat over this log. Another jump to flat over this log. So you get two of them in a row. Come around here. Little boost. Hook right. Now you can take the outside line or the inside line. Still a bit of debate as to which one's the fast one, but I'm going the inside for today. Nice sharp hairpin on rise. Just to slow you down before we come into this tree jump. There is a little stick right in the middle of the down. So watch out if you're trying to roll it. You may hit that stick and top of yourself as we go into this rock garden. Use that to boost. Go off this drop here on the left, jump off that tiny ledge, come around on the rocks, and as we near the finish, there's gonna be one final jump to flat, but of course. Jump to flat, and we're done. With a bit of a sprinkle of rain, let's start A and B. Pretty sure it stands for all natural build, since the only features are really rocks, a bit of moss, not much else. So a bit slick, since this is just hard pack. Two lines, I'm gonna choose the right, since it feeds straight into this bend. Whoa, which is a bit slick. TP, just on the left there as we go over the rocks. Try to hook, whoa, hook a bit of grip there. Bit of a rise as we come up here and circle around. Nice, small berm. Tombstone jump to get over Power Down, which will be the last sort of trail to feature in this quad stack. Still trying to figure out this corner. I'm thinking that the outside line is the better one. But that inside line, if you took it with the right amount of lean, could do it. Now we're on the trees, crossing over Power Down again. Massive berm. Well, that's why. Strathdale standards. 
feeds you into another clay berm. Getting faster and a bit more precarious. Pump up mound. A few doubles. I'm still trying to suss out. Long sweeping berm. Really well designed actually. Another double but that last one you sort of need to pump the flat. And tuck it down here as we come to finish on this berm. Since the rest of this is just climbing and feeds you back up to the top. And now for the final run in our little Strathdale adventure. This is power down as we turn left. Now we need to climb up a tiny bit. Get over these chundry rocks. Now we'll start getting some speed. Now again, this is still a bit slick. Similar to A and B, because most of this is hard pack with a lot of rock exposed. As we cross over where that tombstone jump was on A and B, there's a flying cross from A and B. Ah. And as you can see, whoa, this is more or less just a water channel, so it's fairly rough and natural. And we've essentially finished it, but we're just gonna go off this drop here, boost down, and that's it for power down. Whoa, as we end up in a bog. That was a lot of good fun doing those sport descents. Until next time, keep riding and stay awesome. I'll... Look at that, nice rainbow. What a way to end the video.